You're listening to Nuestra Gente with Linda Parra. Amigos de Internet, tengan todos ustedes muy buenas tardes. Bienvenidos nuevamente a Nuestra Gente Radio Show con Linda Parra. Estamos acá nuevamente para llevarles a ustedes otra interesante entrevista. Estamos en las elecciones del 2020. We are in the 2020 um, general election and we are doing interviews with all the candidates, local candidates here in Lucas County. And um, now we have in the studio Lisa Sobeki. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. So happy to be here. You're welcome. Thank you for um, um, being here today. We're going to know a little bit more about you. Okay? okay. So, ella es Lisa Sobeki y está hoy acá en el estudio con nosotros acompañándonos para hablarnos un poquito sobre uh, su trabajo en representación de la ciudad de Toledo, mis amigos acá, y a nivel del estado, en la casa del estado de Ohio. Así que, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Lisa Sebecki and I represent the 45th House District. I'm currently the state representative and so I'm running for re-election this year and um, my House District is uh, predominantly Point Place, North Toledo, um, Point Place, uh, Washington Township, Washington Local, really kind of from the 475 um, highway up to the border. And then I have um, some homes in Savannah Township, and I also have the Birmingham area on the east side of Toledo. Okay, y ella nos uh, uh, dice que representa a uh, uh, la ciudad de, eh, de Toledo, eh, de la autopista de la 475 hasta el borde de Michigan. Ella uh, nos está representando aquí, y por supuesto nos va a conversar un poquito más sobre uh, su trabajo. Tener a little bit about your job. Well, as a state representative, I'm taking a lot of the tools um, that I learned when I was on the Toledo Board of Education for eight years, from 2008 to 2015, and um, taking that to the state house. And so a little bit of my job is um, I am currently the ranking um, Democrat on the Economic and Workforce Development. I also serve on the Ways and Means, the Secondary and Primary, or Primary and Secondary Education Committee, and the state and local. I'm also the vice chair of the House and Senate Democratic Women's Caucus as well. So um, a lot of my job consists of a lot of the work that I used to do in the private sector, working at Jobs and Family Services, and that's constituent work. Um, talking with my constituents about their concerns. Uh, and a lot of this, during the COVID time frame, a lot of my work has been um, centered around the unemployment and people not being able to get their unemployment benefits. Okay, so let me say it in Spanish. Ella nos dice que su trabajo en la, en la casa del estado de Ohio es representar el, uh, el, el grupo, el comité de, are you working with the education committee, right? Yes. Ella está trabajando con el comité de educación y también con la, la pandemia está trabajando para las personas que están desempleadas por el COVID-19. Ella está abocando por ellos a nivel del estado, representándonos uh, en el, por la ciudad de Toledo, mis amigos. Así que tiene experiencia en esas dos áreas, en tanto laboral como de educación. Tienen a little bit more about, we know that the COVID-19 is going, is, um, we don't know when this is going to be over, but uh, what about the elections? 2020. Oh, the elections. 20 elections. Um, yes. And let's talk a little bit about what's so important about today. Mm -hmm. Today is the last opportunity for voters to be able to register to vote for the November 3rd election. And so um, the Board of Elections is open tonight until 9 o'clock um, to be able to take your um, voter registration form. And so I'm just working the last couple of days and into this moment right now, it's just encouraging those that have not registered to vote to register to vote today because voting starts tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Early voting center opens up tomorrow at eight o'clock and so people can start casting their ballots for the next 28 days. Yeah, early. So that's, <laughs> that is a good point. Ella nos está mencionando que hoy es el último día, mis amigos, para registrarse y poder votar en estas elecciones del 3 de noviembre. Hoy hasta las 9 de la noche la, eh, la oficina de eh, elecciones de la mesa de elecciones estará abierta para que ustedes vayan a registrarse si no están registrados para votar y es el último día hoy. Hasta las 9 de la noche las oficinas de la mesa de elecciones estarán abiertas acá en Toledo. Mañana comienza ya uh, 
el periodo de votación. So, mañana usted puede acercarse a un, al centro de votación y votar temprano y no tiene que esperar hasta el 3 de noviembre. Así que es muy importante que nos registremos. Recuerden que hoy es el, el último día para registrarse. Si no, están registrados para votar en estas elecciones del noviembre uh, 3. Muy importante. Anything else that you would like to say, uh, Representative Sobeki? Um, in regards to voting, though, I want um, your viewers to know that um, our County Board of Elections at the Early Vote Center, uh, they've, it's very, very safe to go in if you wish to go and vote in person. Um, they, there's going to be six feet social distancing. They've got a bigger room in there for people to be able to come and early vote. Uh, but if you don't feel comfortable with early voting and you're not comfortable with going on November 3rd, is request that absentee ballot now to ensure that you get that ballot in time to be able to return it um, for the November election, November 3rd election to be able to be counted. Yeah. Ella nos menciona que si ustedes, ustedes pueden ir a votar en, lo, um, en la mesa de votaciones en la oficina de acá del centro de votación de Toledo. Uh, es, es seguro, no tienen por qué tener miedo. Ahí están las medidas de seguridad y de higiene para que ustedes puedan hacer su voto uh, temprano antes del 3 de noviembre, pero también si ustedes no se sienten cómodos y no quieren ir a los centros de votación, pueden hacerlo a través de las boletas uh, temprano. Es recomendable para que ese voto se pueda, uh, pueda contar en los resultados de estas elecciones del 3 de noviembre y no tengan que esperarse y posponerse por más días. Así que es importante que ustedes um, hagan su voto temprano. No esperen hasta el 3 de noviembre. Es muy uh, de verdad que sometimes people wait until the last minute, November 3rd, you know. Sometimes it's good, it's good to take all, because we're going to have options, different days to go and do your early voting, right? Like we have it on Absolutely. March. Yes. The options are, st are still going to be able to be there. Uh, but for the first couple of weeks, from Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, the early voting center will be open. Um, and in those last two weekends, there'll be Saturday and Sunday options to be able to go and vote. But I, I, I just really want to stress that we have 28 days to vote, but the last day to vote is November 3rd. So I'm, I'm encouraging people to make a plan and work your plan. If you're going to do an absentee ballot request, request that absentee ballot now to ensure that you get it in time to be able to cast your ballot. But like you say, it's very important to do things early because um, we want to make sure that you both count because two voto is two votes. Recuérdalo, you vote is your voice. And then you need to do this uh, for November 3rd. Ella nos está comentando también que hay, van a haber diferentes semanas hasta el 3 de noviembre para que usted pueda ejercer su voto temprano con diferentes uh, horarios. Eso lo vamos a estar uh, comentando acá también, pero es importante que ustedes hagan su voto temprano y no esperen hasta el último momento, como lo hace muchísimas personas. Uh, we were talking here with Rep. Uh, Paula Hickson about budget for Toledo. She said that she's a, an advocate for that money to come to the city of Toledo because there is a lot of money there on the state level that can be used in the different programs here in the city of Toledo. What do you think about this? I am so proud to be working with Representative Hicks Hudson and Representative Xi and also Senator Fetter uh, because it's not only important that we work together, but by working together, our voice is loud in Columbus. I feel that we we always, you know, we always hear the saying um, that the three C's get everything in Toledo. They're still trying to figure out in Columbus if we're part of the state or not. Uh, but working together as a delegation, we have been uh, very powerful on being able to get the leverage some dollars to come back here to Toledo. Estamos conversando acá con la representante Lisa Sobeki y ella no sé, una de las preguntas que yo le hice es que estando en el nivel del estado allá en la capital de uh, Ohio, que es Columbus, representándonos en la casa del estado de Ohio, ¿cómo hacen ellos para pelear por ese dinero, por ese presupuesto que necesitamos, por más dinero para la ciudad de Toledo y para los programas de las diferentes organizaciones acá en la ciudad de Toledo. Ella nos comenta que ella hace un esfuerzo junto a representante Paula Hickson, quien estuvo aquí la semana pasada, junto también al representante Mike Chihi, que estará mañana acá en el programa, y también al senador Fedor, que ella también estuvo acá en nuestro programa anteriormente. Ellos cuatro hacen una voz fuerte para tratar de 
traer más ingresos a la ciudad de Toledo a nivel del estado. Siempre el estado quiere tomar dinero para las tres ciudades grandes que empiezan por C, como lo son Columbus, Cleveland y Cincinnati, pero que ellos han estado tratando de, tra de incluir también a Toledo, porque Toledo es una ciudad grande y necesitamos dinero aquí también en Toledo. So we were talking about uh, with uh, Representative Paula Hickson about we need to include a T on that, on those three C's. Um, she say T, C, C, C. I was going to say, I, 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 I saw what Paula said and I agree with her. It's T, C, C, C. If you, if you go to my office in Toledo, you're going to see Toledo represented in that, in that office. You're going to know exactly where I come from. But also when we're talking about Toledo, we're talking about, say, for example, our education. Um, something that I'm really passionate about is the opportunities for our, our kids here in our city to be able to have the dollar amounts that is rightfully theirs for when it comes to education. And unfortunately, um, those dollar amounts we have to fight for over and over and over again. Um, because there's not a fair school funding model. It's just kind of thrown up in the air, every budget, and- And we'll see how much we're gonna get. And how much we're gonna get. Uh, but school boards are required to have a five-year forecast that they have to tell the community. So we're giving them a two-year budget, but they have to talk about those dollars for five years. And something that um, I'm supportive of and advocating for is Representative Patterson um, Cup Bill. It's called the Fair School Funding Model. And the time is now that we get that right so our kids here in Toledo have the resources and our educators have the resources through dollars to be able to educate students. Ok, let me say it in Spanish. Um, ella nos comenta que siempre hay una pelea continua a nivel estatal para el dinero en cuanto a educación se refiere. So, siempre hay un cortes en programas en dinero para la educación. Ella dice siempre es un presupuesto que se tira hacia el aire y vamos a ver quién agarra más dinero. Y entonces ella nos menciona que como ha tenido muchísima experiencia en el campo de la educación, es una pelea continua que ella mantiene a nivel estatal para que las escuelas de Toledo perciban más um, dinero del estado. Anything else that you would like to say, Representative Sobeki? I just You know, it's just been a pleasure to be able to serve uh, not only my 120,000. Is this your first term? This is my first term of a freshman. How do you like it? I love it. Okay. This is the best job ever. And um, I'm really proud that uh, the 120,000 of my constituents uh, voted to put me in, to send me to Columbus to represent them. But it's not only representing my 120,000 plus constituents, It's representing Toledo, it's representing Lucas County, and it's also representing the state of Ohio when we make decisions. So we have to um, get out of our box. Um, some people are grounded in their little box, uh, but we need, I am excited to be stepping outside of that box because the decisions I make for my constituents um, are felt through a, a ripple effect throughout the whole entire state. Yeah, it is very important. So we need to make sure that we have you there to represent and also to fight for your district. Okay. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you for you. doing that. Um, we're going to say in Spanish. Ella nos acaba de comentar que es su primer término. So it's her first term. And ella dice que le gusta muchísimo. Le encanta trabajar como representante en la Casa del Estado. Lo más importante es estar allí para representar a los constituyentes de su distrito y asegurarse de que también reciban beneficios. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Mis amigos, hemos llegado acá hasta el final del programa. Vamos entonces a continuar con más. Mañana tendremos otra interesante entrevista, como siempre, y es para que ustedes tengan la oportunidad de conocer los candidatos que están cor corriendo para estas elecciones del de 2020. This is an opportunity, it's an a window, so you know more a little bit about our candidates for this 2020 election. Mis amigos, gracias por acompañarnos. Los quiero muchísimo y será hasta la próxima vez cuando ustedes y nosotros estaremos acá en contacto a través de nuestra gente de Radio Show. Chao.